looking forward to this. Uh, as you know, we've spoken before and you know my experience is limited. <laughs> limited, yeah. Very limited. Uh, this year is the first year that I've actually tried to play 18 holes properly. Yeah. But I've never had any coaching. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So who's, who has helped you with your golf? My mom. Your mom? Okay, <laughs> my mom. cool. My mom plays a lot of golf and she's had lessons. Uh, to be fair, she's had a lesson with you, I think, yeah. as well. Um, so when we play together, she'll give me little things to say. You're going to tell me today whether that's right or wrong. Yeah. Um, YouTube videos, obviously, uh, to, to kind of pick up little bits and pieces. But to be honest, I, I don't know. You, you pick up as you go along. So I've probably developed loads of bad habits yeah. over time. And yeah, I think it's, it's about time that I learn a proper swing because so I've got great friends that play a lot and oh, I yeah. don't feel like I can play with them yet because I'm just going to embarrass myself uh, and I want to enjoy the game get into that age where I want to play more regularly whether it's with work or with friends so yeah yeah on a day like today it's cool it makes sense to, <laughs> to do this you don't want to be outside in this do you so no we'll... it's freezing today so this is a perfect environment uh, right so um if we think why what do you want to get out of golf? Do you just want to perform better or do you want to really challenge your playing partners? How, you know, what level do you want to get to? If I do anything, I always want to get better. I always yeah. want to improve. So I don't have a handicap at the moment. Okay. I've not really played enough or um, been able to measure it properly. So it would be good to start on something and then just gradually, slowly improve get it. that up yeah. um, or down. And yeah, enjoy it because uh, as saying as well, a friend of mine's picked up some injuries and if I'm going to start playing more, yeah. I don't want to do it wrong to then cause myself some injuries. Like I'll be not be playing football forever. And one of the reasons is because I don't want to keep getting kicked. So yeah, I don't want to yeah, go into definitely. golf and get injured as well. Yeah, too. So um, how old's your friend who's got injured? Yeah, I think he's 36. Right, okay. So that's yeah. too young. And is that golf related or is that life related? I think one of them's golf, golf related. related. Okay. Uh, so shoulder and elbow. Wow, okay. And the elbow I think is related to it. But um, I think it was all sorts of like things that have been building up. But I know golf wouldn't help it with the stance and yeah, okay. swings and impact as well. So I've, I've had many injuries and I've learned very quickly that you don't have to get injured playing golf. And in fact, you can be much more efficient when you don't get injured because you're doing some of the things correctly. So we're going to have a great time. Um, I know. You might feel a little bit nervous doing this in front yeah. of me, but to start off with, we I'm just going to let you hit a few shots yeah. uh, and see what happens. So yeah. what I want to do is just have a look at your golf swing before I jump in and, uh, and start helping you. So yeah. uh, should we get a club? Yeah. <clears throat> no laughing. <laughs> so uh, this is just a relatively short shot that we're trying to hit it. Don't worry if it goes in the sand or wherever it goes. Let's hit a few shots. We are where we are, and then we'll see how we can start to help you. How, oh, 110 yards, that says. 110 yards. Okay. So you, you, sh you should have a, a, enough club to get you there. I mean, it's bad enough going on hole one with people behind you, but this is a bit different. <laughs> Brilliant. I've strike lucky there, haven't I? Well, if that goes in, we're sorted. <laughs> yeah, nobody laughs. So that's good. <laughs> um, so you've just hit that 103 yards and you're incredibly accurate. So I'm thinking why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it again, see if it was luck. Brilliant. That matches my consistency on the actual golf course. So relatively common to see that you hit a good one and then one goes off to the right. Don't be surprised now if one suddenly went to the left. It might, it might not, but let's, uh, let's that, just see. Is that because I'm overcompensating? That's exactly what starts to happen, yeah. Nope. Nope, gone in the bunker now. So, and this is where you get that inconsistency when it's on the golf course. And whilst you're out playing golf with your friends and you start to enjoy it, if you're hitting shots way off line, that enjoyment gets a little bit less sometimes, especially mm -hmm. if you're competitive, you know, if you, mm -hmm. you've done the football. So already I can see some uh, things that we can definitely help you with. Um, so you've, you've hit one that's gone over 100 yards, the other ones are going like 80, 70, 80 yards. So there's definitely some things that we need to work on. So the way that I like to coach is think of yourself as a bit like a piece of clay. So you're rough, rough at the edges. And what I want to do is start to shape it mm -hmm. to get a kind of a shape of golf swing. But we can't do that unless we've got good foundations. So let's think of uh, building a golf swing. It's a bit like building a house. We have to have good foundations before we can put the walls and the roof on. So if we can get you set it up correctly, 
that helps the next bit. If we get that bit right, then that helps the full swing. So mm -hmm. that's the way I generally like to, to do this. Um, so a lot of people skip the setup. Yeah. They go, oh, I've done that bit, that's fine. Yeah. But most commonly, it's incorrect. And straight away, I can see that you've got some, uh, you're, you're actually standing too far away from the golf ball. Okay. Would it, if, if I left you to play for a length of time, you would end up with a sore back very quickly. Okay. Uh, so that's something that we, we need to avoid, and we can do that through the way that we're going to set up, which I'll explain in a second. Oh, so, learned something already. Already we're learning something. Yeah. So can you just make your normal setup for me? Okay. Do you want me to talk you through it? No, I just want you to make your setup. Okay. So right now, if you just have a quick look at your knees, mm -hmm. Would you say they're quite bent or straight? Yeah, they're quite bent. They're quite bent from there, yeah. And it's really, can you see now where the golf ball is in relationship to your club face? Yeah. So if we were connecting with it, it'd be quite quite close to here. Yeah. So technically, we'd be better off if we were hitting it more in the middle. So right, okay. what we've got to figure out, is there a way that I can set you up consistently with every golf club so that you're always correct. Mm -hmm. So the answer is yes, we're going to do that. So the best way I found to do this is just for me to demonstrate it first. Yep. So if you just pop Please. over here. So most people, when they set up to a golf ball, they put the club behind the ball, they put the feet where they think it should be, and then they kind of build the body posture around that. And everybody thinks that they're correct. Yeah. But nine times out of 10, you're not correct. So okay. what we're going to do is, is change the sequence. The other thing that I noticed very quickly as well is when you were setting up, you had quite a wide stance. Yeah. And your body movement through impact was restricted. Any idea why that might be? I think I know why I do it is because I always feel like golf clubs are too small for me. Yeah, yeah. So then, yeah, so I think that's something to do with why I go so further away. So if you go away. wider, you can get down easier? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. So what this does is this starts to lock the body movement up. Mm -hmm. so you can't move as efficiently as you're going to move. So what is there a correct width of stance? So nice and simple. All it is is a natural stride. Okay. Turn to face the ball, and that will be your natural balance point. So what you've done, because you've gone almost a shoe wider than that, now yeah. you're starting to restrict body movement. So the width of stance is going to be really important when we start talking about how the body needs to move. Is it worth just doing that when you're on the golf course? Yeah, and if you do that... A few times you'll get used to it really yeah. quickly uh, but if you suddenly did this it looks way too <laughs> way too weird yeah so, so we're going to get that right width of stance uh which you'll do you, you're doing it now yeah so you've got the correct width of stance yes yeah, i've overthought just, it when i'm going to the golf ball yeah you've got it so you've tried to do it to get down to the ball but we're going to do it in a much better way than okay. that okay I haven't checked your grip yet, but I'm going to do that in a second. But what I'll do first is just get you the right distance from the golf ball. So we're going to stand nice and tall, mm -hmm. arms out in front of you, and then we're going to relax them onto your body. So this is going to be your start point. Now, what you will have done from here is you will have bent your knees. Yeah. And this is putting some pressure on your, on your back now. This is the wrong way around of doing it. So what we're going to do is arms relax on your body. We're going to keep your legs straight. We're going to bend forward from your hips until the club hits the floor. Once it's hit the floor, then we're just going to soften the knees. Mm -hmm. But what you'll see now is the club is too far away from the golf ball. So that's how you'd make that measurement. And then we'll just nudge him. Okay, so we'll check yeah. it again. Arms, hips, knees. And now we're in this perfect posture. But what you're actually in, you know, you're 36, is we've I'm got 34. you here. 34, I'm not, I'm not your 36. friend's 36, yeah. <laughs> so, now we've got you in a really strong position where you could hold a heavy weight. Yeah. So it's actually very athletic, this. Okay. So when you were doing it here, this is nowhere near as athletic as, and as strong as, as we're going to get you. So right. this golf swing is very powerful. You know, we're moving the club at, at great speeds in one second. So if we get the setup right, it helps everything else. So shall we have a go? So it's just a natural, natural stride. stride. That's it. There and you then... go. So straight away now, your the width of stamp now looks super yeah okay. i'm really happy with Thank that you. one you can as well if you want to you can have your toes slightly turned out again that's something they i've Old just heard to. like have your toes straight and they say that that line is the line that you are directing in so that that's going to help with what we call alignment but if you start to have your your feet too straight and yeah. we turn in this direction Doesn't it puts a nice. lot of strain on your hip and on your knee mm -hmm. which again are common injuries in golf mm -hmm. so if you turn your toes out slightly 
that will give you more range of motion, more mobility. Okay. So that, and hopefully that feels quite comfortable. Yeah, it okay. does with my toes out now. Yeah. So if you keep hold of the golf club, I'm just going to, okay, so we, we're going to tweak the grip in a minute, but let's do this setup first. So from here, I just want your arms to relax on your body. So this should feel really comfortable. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm actually going to move the ball out of the way a second. So if you now keep your legs straight and just bend forward from your hips. So bend, 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 bend. And now just relax your knees. There. So already now you look in a much more athletic posture. Okay, so if you now stand up here, just bend your knees, push your arm away. Yeah, you feel it on my back already. Straight away. Yeah. Yeah. So knees straight. Arms relaxed. So in terms of tension, this should feel quite comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't want to start locking it up. So nice and relaxed, just bend from your hips and then just soften the knees to finish. There you go. So I'm gonna put the ball here. So now all you've got to do is nudge your feet. That's it. There you go. So what, what height are you? About six foot on the, on yeah, the minute. Perfect. So does that club now feel too short? No. So this is a standard length golf club. Yeah. Uh, I'm six foot one. They're, they're actually the clubs that I, I use sometimes. But okay. um, there's a lot of evidence to say that you should have a set of golf clubs custom made. Yes. But if you go through this routine, you don't necessarily have to do that. Yeah. So let's try it again. That's it. So there you go. Arms, hips, and then the knees just relax. There you go. So what we're building now is more of a consistent setup. So it's nearly right. But let's hit one because this will feel okay. very different. Okay. Very good. So Start we've changed bit. one little thing already. We've not even touched the golf swing. How different did that feel in terms of setup? A lot different. I like. So I think I've avoided in the past being too over the ball. I don't know why. There's no yeah. reason to it. So I felt kind of closer with the ball, yes. like closer with everything that I'm doing, yeah. rather than like trying and to. Did you reach potentially it. feel a little bit more upright? Yeah. Great. So the more we bend forward from your from your back here, that puts a lot of strain on the back. Yeah. And then from there, people tell you to keep your head down, and that puts so much strain on the back. So I found through through practice and through evidence is it's actually better to be a little bit taller mm -hmm. than too bent over. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to be naughty. I'm just going to move it slightly too close to you. So now you've got to move your feet. There you go. So what everybody does is move the arms. Ah, That's right, the wrong okay. way around of doing it. We should That's always just move the whole body. Yeah. But and then as you said, I want to be connecting with it like here, not correct. there. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So let's try a few more. Oh, he's gone left. He's gone left a little bit more. Okay, good. One more. So we'll just... Now, what are we... <laughs> put that there. So if you keep hold of this, so you're six foot. <laughs> so we're going to, if you let go of that a second, I'm going to make this too short. So this is an eight iron that you use. If you, if you put this hand on, so this feels now too short, this golf yeah. club, but I want you to go through the same routine. Okay. Okay. So arms, that's it. And then the knees and then just nudge in. Okay. So technically this club is miles too short for you, okay. but let's just see if we can make contact. There you go. So you can still hit the golf ball, even though that's now almost a junior golf club, because you're the correct distance from the ball. So with your technique, you're saying, regardless of what iron it is, what size the club is, the method stands. Follow the routine. Stands true. Yeah. yeah. So the worst habit for you to get into, if I just pitch this one second, is to just put your club behind the ball, put your feet in, yeah. and think that you're correct. Yeah. So what we've fundamentally <clears throat> done now for you is just completely changed the way of setting up the golf ball. And what will happen, you get good at it very quickly. Yeah. It'll so take, it takes no longer. Because I, um, hips, hips. If, I, if I'm to remember this as well, when we go away and I go to the golf course, if I break that down into three, yeah. I'm, I'm working with a stride. Stride, yeah. Um, so that's got my shoulder width, well, my, my width apart, yeah. club down and then shuffle it. That's, so that's my three. Perfect, yeah. So it's, so the, the routine to get it absolutely correct, you've done the bit width of stance, great. Arms, hips, knees, yeah. top, middle, bottom. Arms, hips, knees, yeah. Okay, arms, hips, that's knees. a good way of doing it. So if you do arms, knees, you won't bend forward from your hips. Yeah. Because nobody does, they just push, push the arms away. Yeah, so just work downwards, posture. arms, hips, yeah, knees. Top, middle, bottom. Okay, yeah. that works. Cool. Shall we try that one more? Okay. Okay, cool. That felt good. What, what felt different, if anything? 
Not necessarily the swing. It felt more, clean. More posture. Okay. It felt quite clean, yeah. Oh, cleaner. Okay. So now you've kind of found the bottom of the ball a bit more consistent. Yeah, the one I did before was a lot lower. Yeah. So can you set up how you used to? Yeah. So <laughs> just, just, that's it. So now you go. <laughs> we get in the zone. <laughs> Okay, remember so now how, you've got that wide stance. There you go. Okay, and then the knees were more bent than that, and your arms were more pushed away. Okay, and I feel a lot tenser. My arms feel really tense. Great. As well. and now you look in a sitting posture. Yeah. That like looked really painful. That was right. <laughs> Perfect. <know> it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone way offline again. Yeah. So I would say where you were before, you know, when you're doing it the other way, is it was very restrictive in terms of movement. Yeah. Uh, and I know we haven't even spoke about the movement yet, but when you were getting it right, your body was already starting yeah. to move slightly differently. So I could get quite easily, um, obviously there's a bunker here, so it's quite obviously bad, but because the connection was okay yeah. on the golf course, it's like I'm hitting the ball okay, but I'm not having any control over where it's going really. Correct. Um, and also over time it'll cause me pain. So, yeah, I could quite easily be misled by these types of shots throughout the year that I've had, thinking it's okay, but realistically, if I'm getting kind of more rounds in with friends, I, I don't want to be there. Left, there, right, there, yeah. there. Call it military golf, left, right, left, right, left, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah I we're, like that. we're trying to avoid that, yeah. Um, but the way that you were setting up would make that happen much more often. You'll get that inconsistency. So what we're trying to do is build in natural consistency yeah. through doing things the right way. Yeah. Uh, the cool thing is if the ball's slightly above your feet or below your feet, you can just follow the same routine. It's going to work perfectly. So. Out of interest, how important do you think it is to have golf lessons before you start playing on 18 hole courses as opposed to start playing and then get oh. so great question uh 100 important that you get coaching first yeah the hardest thing uh for, for pros to do is to coach a really good player because they've got into habits that they've ingrained yeah we well, don't have that danger complete immediate. beginners haven't got any habits yeah so it's a million times easier yeah. coaching a complete beginner yeah because you, we, we've got the shape now, we can already start to do things correctly. So you, you're not slipping into bad faults because you don't know what they are. <laughs> okay. which, which is, so yeah, it's a great question and, and one that I would tell any, any beginner, definitely have some coaching. When you're ready to hit the shot, I want you to close your eyes and hit it. <laughs>